Over the last couple of weeks, I've spoken with some parents and some individuals that are trampolining and they want to trampoline more, so they want to be on the trampoline for more time, similar to a trampoline park. But in trampoline clubs, you're doing different skills and the way that I feel when I'm on the trampoline is I can't trampoline for a whole hour, it's far too tiring. In other sports like football, rugby, handball and all the other sort of things that you're doing, there's high intensity training and low intensity training. When you're at the gym, you've got the rest in between the sets. When you're at football, maybe you're walking around, it's, it's lower intensity. And I think what the newer individuals that are trampolining are doing are lower intensity sessions. Whether it's deliberate or not, I don't know, but it means that they, are, they, they feel that they can do more. That's my hypothesis. As I have a heart rate monitor for my cycling and I've recently got back into trampoline, I figured let, let's put a heart rate monitor and see what it looks like. Now I use the Wahoo app which is on my phone and I'm going to share that on screen but you can see at the top this is mental strength. It's just a type of exercise that allows me to measure my heart rate whilst walking around. So this was actually yesterday while I was making dinner. Uh, you can see right at the start is around 90 beats per minute. That's where I'm walking around picking things up. Then I sit down while I'm waiting for things to cook and as I go back I, I go to check on whether the food's cooking appropriately so that's why you see all the spikes but it's a very low bpm beats per minute heart rate there's there's nothing too high i think the highest we get to is around 100 if we have a look at the summary you see my average heart rate is 68 beats per minute and then we go all the way to the end average is 68 max is 110 so that's probably where i was picking something up and doing things uh, and as we scroll down we then have time zones now for this one i was in zone one minimum physical activity I'm, I'm moving around if i take a look at my settings for heart rate zones you can see zone one is 0 to 118 so anything more than 118 and now i go into zone two zone two 119 to 147 zone three zone four and zone five now the sorts of training practice trampolining that people are doing i think when it's at trampoline parks or at trampoline clubs and they're doing some very beginner looking skills or the coach is doing a lot of interruption they're probably sitting in zone two but i'm curious to see if when i get on and i start doing somersaults and other more intense skills how high my heart rate goes if we take a look at this data so this is where i went for a walk i was walking the dog and while i was walking around you can see average heart rate 95 so obviously it's high you can see the chart the heart rate is hovering around 100 so it's not very close to rest like it was with the cooking because it's physical activity if we scroll down now i didn't have the zone set up when i was doing the walk for some silly reason but you can see my max heart rate was 113 so even if i did have all the zones set up all of that is below the zone 2 heart rate cap so it was all zone 1 so me walking the dog that's around um, well it's a field called five acres so i'm walking around a field that's all zone 1 activity now we get to the trampoline one you can see total time it's 52 minutes uh, i was meant to be training for three hours but traffic got in the way and i don't have any recording on training unfortunately because um there were children there so i didn't want to put them in the camera so when we look at the average heart rate you can see that's 142 and moving over to the summary my max heart rate was 186 so yes my heart rate spikes when I'm training, and I think anyone can look out when looking at the chart, that when I got on the trampoline, my heart rate spiked. You see 170, 180, it drops down a little bit, that's where I'm talking to the coach, and then it goes back up, and then it drops when I get off. So the time I'm off, I'm recovering, but it's still heart rate 120, 130. Then we get on, it spikes back up, get off, goes down, etc, etc, and that's consistent throughout the session. Now looking at this last go that I recorded, you can see it's much lower. Now I know what I was doing, I was doing a preparation skill for a double back, so I was jumping much lower. Now I don't know whether it's jump height that's going to relate to my heart rate, I would imagine it's the amount of energy and consistent energy I'm putting in. So in the goes beforehand, I was doing lots of skills one after the other, so doing a couple of skills, taking a break, doing a couple of skills, taking a break, so there was less stand talk okay yes now let's go and do this thing which somewhat confirms my hypothesis for those individuals that aren't jumping really high they're not jumping as high as they can and then doing a skill because they're learning and practicing skills and they might be jumping lower for safety reasons or if they're doing a lot of talking with the coach to help them understand what skill they want to do or what the, the coach needs them to do in whatever the practice is the heart rate's going to be lower so they don't potentially feel as exhausted because the heart rate's going to be lower. Now I'm not saying heart rate equals energy expenditure because it doesn't, but it's a nice proxy. And if we scroll down and have a look at the heart rate zones, zone one was 10%. So I was five minutes of 52 minutes was 
below 118. So most of the session was in zone two. Now that's not zone two consistent training because the zone two was my rest and recovery. So I'm not actually doing anything, but still sitting in zone two. Zone three is just over six minutes. Zone four is about 10 minutes. So I reckon trampolining, when people are doing routines, training for competition, they're training in zone four and potentially, depending on what their training is like, hit into zone five. So trampoline training could be more like an interval session, a hit session maybe? If I do a very quick comparison to a past indoor cycle, this is on Zwift, and have a look at my heart rate data, I was using heart rate to actually monitor, so it doesn't really matter what zones, because I can pick them, uh, but I was just doing a consistent cycle, and you see it hovering around 120, 130, and then we sort of spike up towards the end, because I did a sprint finish. This cycle is a much more controlled activity, much more controlled physical activity, because the heart rate is controlled, it's sort of hovering around 120, 130. If I wanted to, I could then sit at 150, 160, so I can train in a zone specifically for that amount of time. Where I think this data is interesting for lots of different reasons is, one, we can now look at the session and go, okay, this is more likely a high intensity session versus a low intensity session. So for load management for high performance individuals or those that need to manage their fatigue levels, say they struggle with chronic fatigue, we want to manage the fatigue levels. We don't want them doing jumping really high, doing some skills because they're going to get tired very quickly. But in the same way, someone like myself that's untrained getting back into trampoline, maybe I don't want to do high intensity session after high intensity session after high intensity session because I will get very fatigued, very tired, and probably need to take a long break. And I'm going to Portugal in a couple of weeks where I'm on a training camp. So that's where I need to monitor and manage my heart rate and the session. But a third thing that's interesting is if parents want the child to have more time on the trampoline, maybe that's because it's looking like a low intensity session. The child doesn't look like they're doing a lot. So they want five, 10, 15 minute goes, which with other people on the trampoline just isn't really viable. However, if the session are seen or created in a way that are more intense, maybe there will be less conflict, again, with the parent and the coach and the individual with time on the trampoline because it feels more hard. That was really poor English, but that's what we're going with. It feels more hard. Now, this was only a little experiment to see what, what my heart rate got to, but now I'm interested to see where I can sort of change the heart rate depending on what it is that I'm doing because I know the skills that I was practicing and I want to have a, a little look and see what my heart rate does. If you've got any ideas for testing or training or skills or any questions about trampoline specifically about what skills, movements and things that I'm going to be doing to test, just let me know in the comments.